Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial. Uh, this tutorial shows you how to model a uh, spiral bridge. So let's just have a quick look. There we go. So that's what I show you today. How to model. Okay, this will be quite a nice little project to follow. Okay, let's get started. I like to do the bridge 17 meters long and three meter wide. I start with an object and it's in, this, it's in the arcade library, special construction on the basic shapes and it was the spiral. As we started with, uh, as we said, three meters in width. So I do this 1500 and the sweep angle for now, I start with 360. So going around once and rotations, I leave this on zero for now and we can just add, maybe add, it's just a steel frame. I put on a layer, as always, bridge, you click OK. For now, I just click it in here. All right, have a look in 3D. And you can see this is a spiral, 360 is going just once around at the moment. You can see it is quite, well, it's, it's not very round, it's got a lot of segments. So I want to fix this one, this one first. So we select the spiral in 3D, it's easier. Uh, to see what's happening and you go to 3d presentation and you can see the resolution at the moment is 24 let's do that uh, put it on 72 all right as you can see it's a lot smoother you can go higher later for the final spiral if you need to but for my tutorial i'll leave it at this okay so obviously we need to turn the spiral now and to do this you select and here we got the rotation axis. Let's just rotate for now this one 90, that's X. And I do the logic, I'm not sure what's happening. Let's just do 90 and see what's happening. Oh, there you go, it's going this way, let's have a look. All right, it's going this way. So that's already pretty good because I can now go in here on the floor plan, move it back here, and I can go and rotate this around. And active. Let's just go back in here. We got this still on 90 and this hasn't done anything. All right, so that's all good. Now, to get the length of 70 meters, let's drag this to there. So what's happening is 17, let's go back in here. This at the moment is one meter, well, it's height, but because I'm turned by 90, this will be my length. So I put 17 in here now, 17. And we click OK. There we go. Let's see what we got for. All right, see? That's our first spiral. Now you can play around with this, how, how many spirals you want going around, around, around the bridge. So what you do is, again, I, I like working like this. So you go back in here and we increase the sweeping angle. So I like to increase it by, let's make it double is 720. Let's double it again, it's 1440. So 1440. All right, let's see what, what happens. I mean, like I said, this is just a, a trial. You can do more or less or whatever. So for my tutorial, I do this now and we go back into our 3D. And as you can see, it starts to spiral quite nicely. My spiral, by the way, the thickness is, I haven't even checked that, let's have a quick look. It's the radius is 50. All right, again, I leave this for now. We can adjust this later. All right, what we're doing now is to get more spirals in here, the first bit is, it's selected, we mirror a copy, that's my first one. So I go a mirror copy around this line here. Okay, so we go there. And as you can see, we got already a bit more of the spiral of the bridge. All right, next bit is, I wanna actually duplicate those two and turn them around 180. So, to do it a bit easier, what, what I do is we, we take this, in a second, there and there. Let's drag it over here, copy. 
and we do this in here. So instead of doing 90, I put in 270. So I add, add 180 degrees and it should turn around. Let's see what we do. See, it, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a 3D feedback. You have to go in here and you'll check if it worked or not. That was fast, but I think it worked. Yeah, you can see now I've got this at the bottom. You know, and it ends at the bottom here, and that side ends at the top. Perfect. So back to the 2D, and all I have to do is now we drag this. Yeah, all right. Let's have a quick look. Back to our 3D. Beautiful. I know it looks funny for now, but trust me, it's all good. We're going into our uh, working section. See, and we just drag this one down. Do you have a... See, they, yeah, it's hard to see, but there is a middle point. So that's important, you see this middle point here? That's where I drag it to. Take this. There, stick now. Alright, let's have a look. Back here, and we have working 3D. See, it's starting to look good. Maybe nice. So, next, next uh, bit is I like to do the walkway. So, I can just draw a slab here. But I like to make it more exciting, so let's do a profile for this and go back to the working section. And I like to draw in here. Actually, you know what? That's also better. I like to, just for me, it's, I do that sometimes just to get it to the ground, you know, to have something to, to aim at. So I leave this at zero for now. Okay, what I like to do is. I like to do some handrails and let's just do something like this. Uh, go there, let's just x75 mil plus, y10 minus. Okay, I like to do this as a handrail and we put this in the middle here. There you go. Now, we just distribute them around to there and again. This is um, it's in design phase, this bridge. So let's just try something out. I will take, obviously I need to rotate this around by 180 here and we distribute and don't need to pick that. Let's just, I don't know, 30. Let's just do 30 for now. We will see what happens. So you gotta go to the middle point again from, from this R. And sometimes it's a bit hard, but you can see my cursor changes to black. So I'm exactly there. Click, and we go this way. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Let's have a quick look if you measure the distance in between here. It's 150. So for safety reasons, maybe you should make it a bit less. So what you can do is now, you obviously just undo this and we do the same thing again and instead of 30, let's make it 50. Okay, go into the middle and we do that again. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I like that better. Let's select this one too, regroup this and we copy this. Actually, you know what? I wait with carbon because I want to do some more. I like to also do the pathway at the same time with my profile. So the bridge roughly, you know, it's three meters. So if I got to go down, just go this way, 1400. And the handrail, let's just make the handrail one meter. So it's roughly 500. So it's again design phase. So I go 500 up from here. So Y500, that's just a, it's a reference time, I don't And again, we take the fill and draw a fill, okay? 
And for now, I like to draw the fill just there, there and there. Perfect. Select this one. Yeah, that's looking good. We um, mirror a copy. We go here, mirror a copy. Perfect. And I'll take this now into my profile. So I select those two, select this. Let's copy this one. And we do a new profile. We call it A bridge one. Very simple. Yeah. A for me, so it's at the top for the tutorial. That's all. And we paste this in here. I don't need the original location, just center, zoom, perfect. And we do this here for now. All right, great. You select those two pieces and I like to do this concrete for now. And those ones, oh, they're not grouped anymore. That's not very nice. All right, so we do them as, let's make them wood. Wood will be good. There we go. And I store this with a B. Store profile. Perfect. Let's go back and we draw the first beam. We go from the normal one, you okay. know. Go to custom and we take our bridge. Got a couple of here, probably my tests before. I think I did call it bridge one. Perfect. You know what? To not get confused. Yeah, that's an old one. Gone. Delete. And we have this one. Delete. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to it. Beam. This. And we got now only one bridge. I like to do this for now. Actually, no, because I've got two materials in there, just take that off. There you go. And you can put this on bridge. And then we draw this along here. There you go, all the way. Right? And obviously, we gotta go into the work section to make, blue, make sure it's in the right position, which it's not for now. So, those ones. Delete, don't need anymore, don't need anymore. We got this in the profiler and we can drag this down. Okay, as you can see, this does not fit exactly and not sure why, to be honest, but that's easy. We just actually let me have a quick look, see, as little things. What's coming up? Edit profile, but yeah, you know, see that's that's in the middle. Oh, you know what? Let's go back and select that one again. What we got here? Uh, beam. Select the beam, and yeah, see there, offset thirty. I don't want any offsets. That's probably what it is. Ha! Got you there, hey. All right, look, that looks good. Working section, good. Let's see what we got in 3D. All right, that looks promising already. Excellent, so the next bit is we add our glass. All right, if you're happy with this, we can continue. Okay, glass bit. For the glass, I use, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shell. Just a normal shell. And I use 20 is fine. And the angle I leave all the same, but I like to have glass. So let's go to glass roof. Sounds good to me. And we put this again on the bridge layer. Okay. For the start, we can just really, let's just start here and go this way. Oops, I think it's this way. 
I never remember to be honest. Let's go and have a look. Yes! I think I did alright there. Great. So, obviously, we take this and we move this now closer. Oops. Actually, actually, this is uh, this is better done in um, in the working section. Uh, yes, see there you go. So I'll put this in the middle here. And let's move this up to there. As I said before, it's design phase. You know, it's nothing is totally super exact because we're just trying to design this bridge now. All right, let's move this. good I think and then we have to make sure on the other side we stretch it all right so we stretch it into the middle there you go yeah looks good for now let's have a look oh I had to select it hang on a second all right okay you maybe notice it's it's a little bit slow going to 3D in the working section because of the um, the segments in here. So what I do is sometimes because I'm still working on it, just go to the objects, select all the objects because that's the only objects I have for now. And to make life easier before we finish it off, let's go back to 24 here. Just click OK. There you go. So you will see if I go to the working section now. Uh, Boom, done. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't look nice, but you know what? I'll change it back after. So there's a little tip in between how to speed up your working environment, so-called. Anyway, so let's take this and now I want to stretch, obviously, my glass along. Take this and we stretch it to there. All right, let's have a look. Beautiful. To make this look a bit cooler, you can, oops, you can select this and if you're on the shell tool, you can then just click here and we can move this around. I have to quickly remember which one it is. It is, no, not that one. See, there we go. Wow, oh, this one. Yes. Okay, so you can put a tilt in here and I can put a tilt of 125. One, 25 and top again I just you know I just did something it's designing and this one the same hey get back here uh, yeah and this one at 125 that was on purpose because now and if I go the other way around it's that's well, actually going the same way 125 so that's the same one on either side that's why you know, you can see. This is looking bright. Okay, I like to now on the side add another round beam. So we go back to our object and you just use the tube. And remember we had 50 for the spiral. So what I like to do is the radius, put that on 25. So I get 50. And if you want to fill it out, you see there's a hole in there. Thickness, you can just make it 25. Yeah, that should do. Length, blah, 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 all good, because I like working with 3D. I just actually really put this in here. And we put it there. Actually, it looks like we got a 50 diameter, so let's, let's do the same here. Uh, 50. Five. Yes, I think that's better. Let's go to our working section if I can see this here. Oh, there we go. So that's what I mean with 3D or working section. It's just easier to do. 
again, you do this off, this is a bit, it's a bit um, segmented for now, but it's much easier to work in. All right, that looks good. So I take this and just stretch it. There you go, let's stretch this to there and we mirror a copy over. So we mirror copy, let's have a quick look. Yeah, beautiful. I should have chosen the same uh, the same material. Just just do that quick way, just to make sure. Material model general, and I did have a steel frame. There we go. Beautiful, excellent. Now, have you seen? I like to extend them out here. Okay, so. If we do, I show you what happened. If we do the the beam, all right. Oops. So select the beam. You know, you do an alt click. So I've got the same. Oh, that was shell. Hang on. I want. I want the beam. All right. So what happened is, if I add this and I go a little bit this way, it's nicely done. It looks really good, actually. I have to say that, but. It goes so around and I actually wanted to go both ways so like a T section so that's not as easy so what we do is in this case you got the bridge profile here and all I do is I duplicate this okay and I edit and now I take out half of it all right good store profile all right, let's select this one now and we change this to bridge one. And we see what's happening. Tell the people. All right, don't worry, I'm not finished. So it looks a bit funny here. Okay, but at least it's only one way. So what we have to do is this, in this case, we now have to really change our long bridge. This one here. Oops, I don't really have this one. Yeah, this one here. You gotta change this one also to a, a half one. Okay. There you go. And it looks like it's just mirror that over because I think it's on the wrong, it's on the wrong um, side. So we mirror this. All right, let's have a quick look. What's this one now? Okay, so now this seems to be pretty good. Uh, before I actually keep going, you see I want this more outside, so let's just take this and I would like to have this there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And move this there. It's great. So we take those two now and we mirror copy. Mirror copy. Let's have a quick look. There we go. And what happens here, obviously, again, Archicad has a little bit of a problem to fix this all up. So what you do is we just cheat a tiny bit. Um, where's my other one? Let's go over here. Yeah. And we drag and we say Y1 minus. All right. So you got, you know, you got this one. If I really zoom in, you got this one millimeter here. You see, but if you render this out, it will not show up. Okay, so that's very nicely done. And obviously now we go to the other side of the, the bridge and do the same. But before we do that, take those ones and we mirror again a copy to make this look nice. All right, I'd like to show you this, there we go. And again, that's the same thing, so you just have to Take this one and we drag x1 minus. Okay, now this looks pretty good. So all you do is now do the same on the other side, and maybe before I was um, do that over, it's much easier if I drag this halfway. Okay, there you go. So this, this, this. 
this and we mirror copy. All right, let's have a look. Okay, that's looking good, but as you can see, we have now to adjust. We have to adjust our glass, or if you like, if you not, if you if you want to, I mean, obviously, if you think, oh, I don't really want this, and I'm happy going further out with my glass, you know, keep the glass here, and we just move this further out. Look, it's again, it's a design process. So, so I'm quite happy having the glass actually looking a bit further out. So for me, let's just do this. So I undo that step because I want to do the same on the other side. So I like to move this. Because it's still selected, I can just drag this now. And let's just drag this from here to roughly there. There you go. Back to 3D. Yeah, see, I want to have the, the glass finishing just here. I, I really like that, actually. Okay, and then we do the same with those ones on either side. Let's stretch them there, and we stretch this one there. It's great. So let's do our beams, select all beams, and we, oh, actually, no, hang on a second. Because I moved a bit, I'm not in the middle, so let's move this there. That's better. And this one there. All right, now I can select all the beams and mirror a copy. There we go. Let's have another look in 3D. All right, see? Great. You can see those two column, uh, two pieces. Of course, we have to stretch again. All right, I think this is looking pretty good now. Before we go, we render some up, but also don't forget, see, this is now very segmented. So you have to obviously just go to your objects. You can't really say, oh, well, or if you're lucky, you can say, well, you get back in here and it maybe picks the spiral. Yes, he doesn't pick the spiral. I could try just picking the spiral, even so that you, the tube is selected too. Let's try that. Spiral is picked and we have 24, let's do 72, let's see. It should, should work in theory, let's have a quick look. Well, you know what? It didn't, let's, let's go back. That was funny. All right, I have to deselect those two. Very easy, very easy, just go in here. All right, so now we should have only the spiral selected and now we go to 72, okay. Yeah, see, this is looking much, 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 much smoother now. Okay, so you can really easily see that. Okay, so if you might like to, to look each in, uh, in a bit different, it's uh, also easy done. Let's just get rid of this. And remember, we got obviously the bridge still, that's the, the full half circle, right? So let's just do this for now, get this one, and we take the full circle okay so you could say okay let's just you know move this maybe 45 degrees here and a bit down here there you go so they have to line up too if you then do this All right, perfect. So this is, you know, just two different, end, two different ends, which is quite nice. And one more thing I like to show you, obviously, is to add some posts in between here because we've got nothing that holds this up for now. So what we do is we create this in here. Let's just go first with the half one. I duplicate this again and we put one in here and post. So I know what it will be. So edit profile, and all you have to do is you draw now a post in here. Let's just go you know, all the way around. To do this, 
it would be good if I have a, an arc that matches this. So you go there and you choose this one because then you can go from there to there and you see in between, let's just go there. All right, so you got there, exactly that, that's what I'm after. So let's move that in here a little, oh, move that in here a little bit, there we go. Again, I'm designing this for now and we um, copy and paste another one in here, which I can then move like this. Right, so fill and all you do is you draw a fill in here. Okay, and we go there and there. Excellent. And we select everything apart from fill, delete, and again, don't forget the override material which in this case, let's just do this the same as the other ones, which is a steel frame and you just store that one. So you can go, you go, go back here and for the start is uh, take this, drag a copy over here and we just swap this to the post, all right, which I like y50 plus and then you can just drag it over here and start with one let's have a quick look yeah there's our first one can you see that it's a bit much 50 doesn't look really nice so let's do this y25 plus and all you have to do is you just you know, it's against the design, you just distributed them along here. Um, let's do the following. Actually, I drag it, spread it. Roughly one meter is good. Okay, so all we do is now watch this. You go here, and obviously it doesn't fit exactly, right? So let's do one more. And now you can co collect this by clicking on here, 10. So you got exactly 10. So we undo this again because I want now from here to here, I want to have 10 to fit that in with roughly one meter, go back in here. And this time we say distribute, I want nine of them. And you go from there all the way to there. Let's have a look. Okay. See, now we even got some posts in there. Just keep doing that and I will speed that up for you a bit. All right, see, look, this is again, it's a design, you know, if you, if you need more in there, you need more in there, but that's fine. I think this looks pretty good. So uh, I love to render some up for you quickly and make it look nice. Okay, this is, it for today and i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you will be back uh, next time bye for now